Hi, this is Bart with buildlog.net. Wanted to show off some of the recent changes I made to my drink coaster laser cutter. Uh, this machine is designed for cutting drink coasters. Here are some recent examples of what I've cut. Each of these takes about one to two minutes depending on the complexity. I'll start with changes to the uh, inside of the unit. The major change I made was to the feed roller system. I made it much smaller in diameter. This allows you to get more um, coaster utilization because the beam can get closer to the edge. Another change I made um, was moving the feed roller behind the beam. Uh, this moves it away from the front, it allowed me to shorten the chassis quite a bit, and you also get the benefit of being able to uh, see the cutting through the window, which is uh, laser safe while, while it's cutting. It's fun to watch. Uh, you see a lot of smoke residue here. That's because I've recently cut about two dozen coasters on it. Uh, that's not burn mark. Um, that's just smoke residue. What happens with the beam is within the first coaster or two, it quickly cuts through the um, chassis and then is blocked on the bottom by a metal strip. The width of the beam is only about 0.15 millimeters, so it's very narrow and almost impossible to see, but you can see a very small uh, cut line there. Another thing I added was a door interlock. This directly uh, cuts out the power to the laser if the door is ever opened. Uh, the door never needs to be open in general use because you feed in the coasters from the ends. Um, but uh, if you're debugging or playing with it, uh, it's, it's handy to have the beam disabled and you can still run and talk to the machine. Uh, another feature you can see from in here uh, is the X interlock switch mounted to the PCB and then there's two fans at the back. I'll turn it around and show the electronics. The electronics have been uh, improved a bit. Um, I'll explain them here. The power comes in, it's 12 volts. 12 volts is based on the power that the laser needs. There's a switch to turn the laser on and off. Uh, this will turn the fans and the laser power supply on and off. The rest of the machine can run. It's just another way of uh, debugging the machine, programming things, uh, making sure that the beam won't fire uh, when you don't want it to. Uh, the fans also make a little bit of noise, so if the machine's idling, it's nice to turn that off as well. The controller I use is an Arduino Nano running the latest version of Gerbil. I also have a Bluetooth module here. The machine can be fully controlled from Bluetooth like a phone. I typically use my Android phone. This is optional. You can remove it and run the USB. It uses two stepper drivers. These are Polaloo style stepper drivers. I have TI DRV8825s there now. Here's the back view of the fans. There's a cover on them. And inside I've also placed a few layers of carbon filter cloth. It takes a little bit of the smoke smell. The smoke smell is generally not that bad, but it's nice to cut a little of it out. It doesn't take it out completely. Here's the laser power supply. These typically come when you buy the laser module. This one's using a 3.5 watt, 450 nanometer uh, blue laser module. Bolts right here. Print circuit board's nice because you can put the connectors for the wiring very close, keeps it very neat, like the stepper motors and the laser power supply. Another feature that I've added is a IR coaster detector. When you feed the coaster in, it needs to home the coaster to know where the edge is. What it does is typically coming from the other side, but it will block this uh, IR LED and uh, photodiode, um, which is a great way, very robust way of detecting the coaster. 
I also have on here some a potentiometer to uh, fine tune the uh, the IR features, but it seems to be at a constant resistance that I need. So I have an extra pad there where I can just put a fixed resistor and not need to have the pot for adjustment. That's basically it for the new improvements. Uh, I'll go ahead and run a demo. So for the uh, demonstration, uh, this is the design I want to cut. First thing you do is turn on the power to enable the laser and the fans. You can hear the fans come on. Then you have to feed in a coaster. So on the center you click the homing button. Put the coaster in. Finding the edge of the coaster and homing the uh, laser. Then you click to run the job. You can see the basic speed of the cutting while the laser is running. And the rapids in between. Now I'll eject the coaster and all you have to do is pop out the pieces and you have a coaster. Sometimes the negative art is kind of fun too.